It's supposed to be giving spring and it's still giving very much winter vibe. So yeah, that was a good experience at Hermes. So YSL Libra and Ebony Woods. These are the two that I am going to mix. welcome back to the channel so I know it's been a minute since I've made a video and yeah I decided to pick up the camera today because I was in the mood and I said why not I don't ever want to get on here and be like in a Debbie Downer type of mood to me that's not entertaining to watch I don't want to watch somebody who you know just isn't feeling their best so anyway um I'm about to go have brunch lunch with my friend we're meeting at nordstrom cafe or it's a cafe in nordstrom called riskello i think that's how you pronounce it she went and she said that she liked it and she think i'd like it too so it's at perimeter mall in dunwoody sandy springs area if you're familiar with the atlanta layout so that's where i'm headed i'm super super casual y'all i got dressed in like five or ten minutes um because I went and washed my car today so I was running behind I am running late I'm like 15 20 minutes late I'm always late y'all I like I gotta do better I got to do better anyway if I have time I may walk through the mall because I haven't been to perimeter mall in forever and they really do have some good store options over there that they don't have in the mall that's closest to me so I may dip through the mall real quick just to see what they have I'm not sure and then I also, if I have time, because I am on the clock. Yes, I am on the clock today. After I leave eating with her in Perimeter Mall, if I have time, I'm going to run to Atlanta to the Hermes store. I recently got the Hermes H-belt, and so I need to go get an extra couple of holes poked in my belt. So it's been really gloomy this whole week and also it's been like cold or cool and we in march it's not supposed it's supposed to be giving spring and it's still giving very much winter vibes the sun came out today i'm thinking you know why not just get out do something so i'm excited to be meeting up with her we've been trying to get up with each other since january since january it'd be that hard like seriously you know we're all adults we all have our own schedules so it's just really difficult sometimes to meet up with your friends so i'm glad that we finally decided on today i actually went out or took my daughter out last night to grab tex-mex at one of my favorite spots um so i'll insert that footage here for y'all to check out so here i am pulling up to one of my favorite Tex-Mex restaurants here outside of Atlanta. It's called La Paria. And I'm showing you guys the menu. They have so many options. Um, the food here is really good. Here's an overview shot of the restaurant. They have locations all around the Atlanta area. This is why I go for the jalapeno margarita. Tonight I had a big one. And the queso dip is so good. It has chicken, steak, and shrimp. Yum. So y'all saw that, um, that was just some snippets of me at the restaurant last night with my kid. Um, I did get the jalapeno margarita. I was craving it. That's why I went to that particular restaurant and it was pretty good. I got a big one last night. I don't know what I was thinking, but I definitely felt it by the time I got home. Um, I did not finish it all, but it was definitely really, really good. The food, I didn't eat a lot of the food. I only ate a little bit because I just wasn't that hungry after eating all those nachos with the queso dip. So 
But yeah, that's one of my favorite little Tex-Mex spots here. Tomorrow I'm going to brunch and I'm going to try to, you know, dress up and be cute since I haven't really done that since my Cabo trip. So this is probably going to be a weekend vlog because I'm just going to be putting little snippets here and there of what I'm going to do, you know, this weekend, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. So that's about it, y'all. Oh, yes. I binge watched one of my favorite shows ever in life, um, Last Kingdom. The last season is on Netflix now. If you don't know about it, if you haven't heard about it, and you like fantasy um, type films, then I think you would really, really like Last Kingdom. It is dark, raunchy at times, gruesome. Um, if you like uh, Game of Thrones, then you would probably like the last kingdom i binge watched that in two days and it did not disappoint i was happy i really enjoy the plot the acting it's just given it's given what it needs to give so yep that's a show recommendation on netflix if you guys need something to watch i'm about to you know finish my little drive enjoy the rest of my ride before i get to um the mall and i will pick you guys up once I get closer, show you guys around, and then I'm just going to enjoy my food with my homegirls. So, yeah, I will pick you guys up later today, or, girl, what they doing? Why? Um, I'll pick you guys up later, or, you know, I'll pick you guys up. Y'all will see me in a little bit. It's so cold outside. The wind was blowing. My hair is even more wild. I'm in Nordstrom now. I'm about to find this restaurant and meet up with my friend. And then I'll take you guys around Nordstrom while I look around. So here I am just showing you guys an overview shot of this restaurant. Um, it was on the third floor in Nordstrom at Perimeter Mall and here's a little overview of the menu they had some pretty good options um, I ordered a mixed drink and I wasn't feeling it I probably drank like a third of it so I wouldn't order a mixed drink again the Caesar salad was bomb I took the anchovies off the pizza was bomb er it was so good I just left um, Nordstrom. I did look around in the shoe department and also the perfume department, but I didn't see anything that I absolutely love. So I didn't purchase anything. I did try two scents that I wanted to mention. Um, the Givenchy Irresistible. I actually like that and I'm going to put that on my perfume wish list. Then I also tried this Jo Malone um, B mandarin um this one i did not like so much um she was really trying to sell me on that one but i just i didn't like it she actually sprayed it on my wrist and i wish she hadn't because now it's lingering and i don't want to smell like that joe malone scent i'm probably gonna do a perfume collection video pretty soon i have some old scents that are kind of on repeat that I always replenish that I just love and then I have some newer pieces too that I recently got that I'm like really really enjoying so I think a perfume collection video will be coming soon it's after three o'clock and I think I'm gonna try to run to Hermes and get my belt um, sized or get some holes poked into my belt yeah what are y'all doing I would definitely come back to this restaurant I really don't shop at Nordstrom though, so I really don't have a reason to come here other than like a lunch date. Food was very, very good. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and drive over to Hermes and I will pick you guys up later. So there's one Hermes location in Atlanta. It is pretty close to Lenox Mall and Phipps. 
Uh, so just, you know, if you ever want to go, just put it in Google Maps, but that's where it's located. And here I was able to get some shots while I was in the store. Hey, y'all. Y'all, it's so windy. I just left Hermes. Sun is glaring. I can't see myself. Y'all probably can't see me either. So I'll pick you guys back up once I settle. I was able to get the holes poked in my belt. And I also switched out my Hermes Orion sandals for a larger size. And that was just really, really, like really good customer service because I got those sandals back in September of 2021. So it's been like six months. And yeah, they were able to easily just exchange them out for a half size larger so that they can actually fit me. The size 36 did fit, but it was a smidge like too exact. If you haven't seen my Hermes Orion sandals review, I'll leave it linked up here so go and check that out but so yeah i did go and um exchange those for a half size bigger so yeah that was a good experience at hermes um the essay that has been helping me out was not there today so i didn't buy anything but i did look around i'm about to go and get some work done and then after i do that i think i'm gonna put my pizza in the oven and sit down and enjoy a relaxing, quiet evening. Probably gonna start a new show, Euphoria, Ozark, and it was another show that my friend recommended to me at lunch. I saw season one of Euphoria and I thought it was okay. I may watch it, I'm not sure. I mean, it, it's not a bad show, but it's just not, you know, it's not something that I, I feel like I absolutely need to follow up with. Ozark, I know people rave about it. I saw season one and part of season two, and I'm just not impressed. I'm not that impressed with Ozark either. So hopefully I'm able to find me something nice to binge tonight. Just gonna chill out, hang out, and then um, tomorrow I'll pick you guys up when I go to brunch, and I'll show you guys around, and that's where we will end the vlog. So it is dinner time, and I just warmed up my pizza in the oven. I'm gonna be drinking some red wine. Here is the red wine that I am drinking. And um, when I first tried this, I absolutely loved it. But the more and more I get familiar with red wine, the less sweet I like it to be. And this is actually too sweet for me at this point, so I probably won't buy it again. But if you're new to drinking red wine, and you're kind of past the Stella Rosa stage, I would say that this is a good next choice. I'm about to watch some TV. I have my little comfy set up here. And um, yeah, I'm about to try this show, Raised by Wolves, it's on HBO Max. I just watched the trailer and it seems interesting. Um, definitely not a genre that I typically like to watch, but hey. I'll give it a try. It has two seasons, so it can potentially be a good um, binge. Um, got my candle lit over there. Um, Y'all, I need to go to Home Goods and get more candles because I'm limited to two. I only have two candles going right now. So I'm about to sit down, eat my pizza while it's hot, drink my little wine, watch this show, and I guess I'll let y'all know whether or not it's good the next time I pick up the camera. I am almost dressed. I just have to take my hair down. I have pin curls in my hair, so I'm about to take that down. I just have on a really simple outfit. These are some high-waisted, um, what are these, like sweatpants. And then I have on this long sleeve top. I have on my jewelry, of course. So I'm about to take my hair down, put on some perfume, and I'll show you guys the perfume choice. And then I'm going to get out the door we're going to like this jamaican caribbean restaurant so let me take my hair down fluff it out and then um yeah i'll pick you guys back up to show you the finished look All right, so my hair is done. And for perfume, I am gonna be mixing the YSL Libre, and I hope I'm saying that right, and the uh, Ebony Woods. This is from, this is from Zara. So YSL Libre and Ebony Woods. 
much. I will say that if you want an affordable perfume that really, really lasts, this is a good one and it layers really well with like spicy scents. It really lasts like all day. It has like a little cinnamon, vanilla smell to it. This one is just, it's so yummy. This one is good. I'm about to put on my boots, grab my bag and head out the door because of course I'm running late as usual. So here is the look. I did not have time to grab my um, ring light to brighten this up. So I hope that this is good enough. But anyway, um, now listen, I know that this is not very like summer brunch not summer. I know that this is not like typical brunch. Um, this is a very dark, it kind of looks like a night look. I get that. But in my defense, it is 33 degrees outside. You heard me, 33. It's cold AF, okay? Um, I actually had more of a spring piece that I wanted to wear, but I couldn't wear it today because it's so cold. So yeah, anyway, um, I have this long sleeve top on. I have both of my bracelets on, my wedding band, Cartier ring. Um, I got this jean jacket from Fashion Nova, these high-waisted sweats from Fashion Nova. And what I love about these is that it's not like a lounge sweat. It's more like, you know, you can dress it up and go out with it. Um, so yeah, I love that. And then my black boots, I got these from Steve Madden. I'm gonna be wearing it with my um, Prada Re-Edition. So I am loving this look. Yes, I am mixing gold and silver, who cares? But yeah, so that's the look. I have light makeup and just some curls. And yeah, so. I will pick you guys up and show you around once I get to the restaurant. So the food on the website and the food here looks really good, but I was underwhelmed. If you're still here, go follow me on Instagram. Yes, shameless plug. I just made it back home. It is nighttime and I just wanted to pop on and end the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.